Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to make a Google form. So first, sign in to Google. And if you don't have a Gmail account, you will want to get one. So sign in and then go to Documents. I'm automatically in my Documents. But if you're not, look across the top and find Documents or go to More and go down until you find it. And once you're in, go to the Create button and then go down to form. Now this is the place where we are that we create our form. You want to erase untitled form and type something that's going to make sense to you later when you're looking at your list of documents and forms. I'm just going to call this sample form and you can type any directions you'd want to give your um, survey taker. And my first question so go ahead and type your question where it says question title and I often ask for the person's name so I'm just going to put please enter your full name and I could again write directions here I'm going to put last comma first and I will leave this as a text question and I want to make this required so I know who's answering my questions and then I hit done now for my second question I'm going to want to go where it says sample question 2 and then go all the way over to the little pencil icon which will let me edit this question and similar to my first question I want to type what it is I want to know so I'm going to make this multiple choice it will be uh, what's your favorite candy bar I don't need an explanation so I'm just going to go to the question type and select multiple choice and then I'm going to type my options Snickers uh, three Musketeers, uh, Twix, and Kit Kat. And I'm also going to select other because that will allow other options than the ones that I provided. And then I'm going to make this required and hit done. Now for my third question you'll notice it doesn't say sample question three down here everything after your second question you need to go up to the top and go to add item and then select the kind of question you want and you can always change this later I'm going to choose paragraph text which allows for a longer answer and I'm going to say describe um, a perfect day for you I'm going to keep it paragraph text and I'm going to make this required and hit done now I have a three question survey and there are just a few things I want to point out. Um, whatever question is highlighted, that's what's currently being dealt with in your form. And the highlight question will have three icons to the right. The first one, like I mentioned before, is the edit icon. So this will let you change anything about your question, including the question type. The second one is a duplicate icon, which will let you copy your question as is. So if you set up a question exactly how you like it and you want to modify it slightly for a new question, you could copy it and then modify. The third one, as the icon suggests, lets you delete or put your question in the garbage can. Um, you could move questions around so if I wanted to move, again it's selected because it's yellow you'll see the four arrows, I could move this up and I could change the order of these questions. And when you're done with your questions you'll want to choose a theme. So right now in the upper left you'll see plain theme and if I press that First it'll save my form. You always want to save. It'll automatically save for you if you are, are making it into a theme. Um, and then you can go ahead. There are like 90, 97 different themes. So you can go through and preview. Um, I'm going to hit binary blue. That looks interesting. And I like that look. So I can hit apply and that'll become my theme. If not, I can hit cancel and choose something else. Um, now once you're done with your form, I would recommend going back to Google Docs. So this is going to list all your documents, including your forms. And um, you can hit Sample Form. And when I hit that, you will see that it's now taken on the shape of a spreadsheet. And this can do anything a spreadsheet can do. So you can, you can alphabetize, you can uh, reprioritize and change things. But what you're probably interested in is what happens to this. And, and what it does, this is where your data goes when people fill out your forms. The spreadsheet is populated with, with data. So now um, the most important thing about this spreadsheet is the pull down menu called form. And if you press form you'll see that you can edit. So this would send you back to your original form where you can edit your questions. Um, 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to live form. So this is where you can see what your form looks like. And actually, I'm going to fill this out a couple times to show you what hap happens to your data. So uh, I'm going to select myself. Um, I was already in there. Uh, describe a perfect day. I will write um, a perfect day for me. A book, a hammock, and no obligations. That sounds like heaven to me. Uh, my favorite candy bar, I will say a Kit Kat, and then I will submit the form. Now this is going to let me fill it out again if I want, or create my own form. Uh, I'm going to fill it out again, and if you don't want people filling out multiple forms, you can make it so each person can only fill it out once, but I didn't do that. So now I'm going to be, I will be Brian Wagner. Um, and I will guess a perfect day for him. You know, these English teachers are quite predictable. I will say free tickets to a Shakespeare festival. And I will guess that his favorite candy bar might be a Snickers. And I will submit. And now, again, I'm going to go back to Google Docs Home. And I'm going to open sample form. And you'll see that that data is already put in the spreadsheet for you. Now this is the cool part. If you go back up to form and you go to show summary of responses, it will put it into visual a visual representation of the data automatically. So we can see, even though we only have two responses, we can see that half responded Kit Kats and half Snickers. And you can see that two responses were done on May 1st, 2012. And you can see our descriptions of our perfect days and our names. But it will automatically make, you know, whether it was a multiple choice or a pull down selection, whatever kind of question you ask, it will it will show. You you would have many more charts and much more much more visually interesting results, but I only have three questions. So I'm gonna close that. And let me show you a few things. Um, you're going to want to share this so people can take take your form. So I'm hitting share and I'm going to change it from private because that would be for my eyes only. And my favorite thing to select is any, anyone with a link. That way it's not public on the web, but if you give someone the link in an email, then they can fill out the form and they won't have to sign in and they don't need a Gmail account to, to enter their information. So I wrote anyone with a link and I'm going to press save. And this screen is misleading because you don't want to share it from the screen. If you share it, this, this URL, you're sharing your spreadsheet, which is probably not what you want to give to people. You want to give them the form to fill out. So I'm going to get out of this. And I will show you the best way to share, which is to go back. Remember that form pull down, which is so useful? Go back to Live Form. And this is the URL that you want to give them. So if I copy this, I will do that again to show you. I, I put my cursor up here, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to copy it. Now, I would paste it into the body of an email. I would go into my email, I would select the addresses of people that I want to send this to, or you could post this link on a website or, or wherever else would be useful for you. But you want to get that link pasted in an email or somewhere else that a person can, can access it, and then they can fill out this form. So that is how you do a Google Form. Uh, one more thing I'm going to show you that might be useful. On this spreadsheet, uh, something you don't want to do is erase a single, a single square. So I wouldn't want to erase a book, a hammock, and no obligations. Instead, I want to go to Edit, and down here I could delete a whole row if, if there's something that I didn't want in there, or I could delete a column, but you don't want to go on your own and erase discrete pieces of information because it'll goof up the way the form functions. Okay, that's it. Have fun with your forms.